the lost island of Atlantis. Atlantis was a mythical island. First talked about thousands of years ago, Atlantis still captures people's imagination today. The myth dates back to 355 BC. In his book Timaeus, the Greek philosopher Plato wrote about an island in the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantis was a peaceful and rich country. Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea, created and protected it. The capital city of Atlantis was amazing. In the center, there was a temple dedicated to Poseidon. Inside the temple stood a gold statue of Poseidon riding a chariot with six winged horses. The people were very rich. They were mostly sailors and traders. They had large ships and sailed all around the world. Some people were farmers and worked in their fields. They also raised cows and sheep. The kings who ruled Atlantis lived in beautiful palaces. Their walls were covered in gold and silver. There were also lovely statues, paintings and fountains in the palaces. People lived happily until one day a terrible earthquake struck. The island disappeared into the ocean. Only a few people survived to tell the story of the great empire. Did Atlantis really exist? There are many theories about where Atlantis was. Many people believe it was near the Azores, a group of islands in the Atlantic Ocean. Others think it was in the Mediterranean Sea, near Sardinia, Crete, Malta or Santorini. The area between Crete and Santorini in Greece may be the most probable. Many people believe Atlantis sank at the same time a great earthquake destroyed the island of Santorini. What do you believe? Did Atlantis really exist? Will we ever discover where it really was?